So you may have seen my video where I tried viral street art spray paint. And that got me to wondering, could I do this on something that I would actually use that's practical, say as a uh, gaming controller? Hmm, I don't know. But I guess we're about to find out. Let's get started. All right, so I'm doing this on the Xbox controller, but you could totally do this on a PlayStation or whatever you like. I don't know, I don't care. But you just gotta figure out how to take it apart and separate it to the paintable portions. There. All right, now that we've got that all taken apart, it's time to scuff it, clean it, and prepare it with a layer of spray paint. All right, so I got my pieces all white. I taped this little stick to them so I could hold it so I wouldn't have to hold it here on painting. That'd be weird. All right, for my first shape here, I want to do like a, a moon shape. So I'm going to do some blue. Well, maybe I'm going to do some blue. that worked. work. Whoa, this thing's seen better days. Then let's do some white and black oh that was a lot it's fine since the blue didn't work let's use this lagoon color i think that'd be cool and now we're just going to take our little bag lay it across it a little tap 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 oh that's gonna be sick let's give a little bit more of a highlight and then the shadow same thing let's give a little dab dabby again look at that that's gonna be crazy all right next planet this cool green color this yellow and why not throw this little magenta in there? I always see people use those. It always works pretty good. And if you remember my spray paint now calling table, I had this little tool here uh, that I make wood grain. So I'm just gonna take and swirl with that. That was a terrible idea. All right, that's how you learn, you know? Do it again. Put some more here, more of the yellow and the color there. Put the bag on. This time when you do it, you're gonna just twist your fingers. And I meant to get some newspaper. I could totally do this with newspaper. There we go. Oh, I did on the blue part. I guess I'm gonna have to redo it again. Let's wipe it off. That's the cool thing about this. You just resilient. Do the green. Yellow on this side. Magenta on this side. That's a pretty color. Wow, that's pretty. I think I might use that on the next one. All right, take your magazine, crumple it up, and then hold it, and then swirly. There we go. Ooh, that's different. Throw a little white on there. Why not? Black on the shadow area. Swirly. All right, it's not really doing what I want to, but that's a cool thing. You can just keep working until you get happy with it. I'm just going to do like a little sponging. Let's do a little black for the end over here. This is this is definitely way cooler. Nice. Okay, that's much better. That's gonna look sick when you got a circle on it. And now for the last one, I'm gonna do something right here. I might do another one up here too. I don't know. We'll get crazy. This one's just gonna be purple and magenta. Got a little heavy there. It's running. It's running. Somebody catch it. A little dark here. And then where's my white? All right, let's try not to get this guy. There we go. I cut off a little piece of my grocery bag, lay it on it, do it, and then just put Pull it this way. Pull it across. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's gonna be real cool right there. That works great. Just a grab, just a little bit of gravity there, buddy. Wow, look at that. Look at that difference right there. That's gonna be sick when you cover that up. So I got a circle here, circle here, and I think I'm gonna do one little moon right here. But I'm gonna try to cover up. So I don't spray crazy everywhere else. Oh, you know what? They need to make like little miniature spray cans. I could totally do this with my airbrush, but I'm trying to keep it real with the way I did the other street art style spray paint. All right, now got a little crumply piece. And all I'm gonna do with this is put it down and my fingers are huge. It's not, oh, that actually did what I wanted it to. Okay, well, whatever. Wow. Oh, I know a lot of you can't see it, but just wait till I get the cover. Oh, I touched it. It's okay. I get the circle covers on and then we do the background because the background is going to have like a little shoo, galaxy thing going right through there. I can already see it. Can you see it? Some people can't visualize. I have no idea what I'm looking at. You might be that way. And then we'll do the same streaky galaxy on the backside in preparation for our rocket ship here. So let this dry 
and I'm gonna go make my circles. And then my favorite part, the flicking of the stars. Oh, that's so fun. All right, got some little circles, templates, slick stickers, whatever. This is Cricut removable vinyl. I didn't know what size to make, so I made anywhere from a two and a half to one and a half, one, I don't remember, all the way down to a 0.25. So surely I have the right size. You know, on the last one, I used the little lids from my wife's Tupperware. Don't tell her. You know, it's gonna be tricky right there with that little curve. That's why I use vinyl, because it's stretchy. Cycles all on, make sure they're all pushed down good, especially this guy with the little curve is. I mean, if you're, if you're paint the Xbox. I don't know. You might not be. Now we're going to cover it with all or all with black. Let me make sure I got it right there. Boom. While I'm doing this one, I'm going to go ahead and black this mug out too. A lot of surfaces and angles with this mug. All right, now let's pick another color. We're going to do our galaxy. I'm going to have a, like a purpley outside and it's good with this is wet. And when this hits, it kind of melts right in. Look at that. One stripe there, one stripe there. Let's do the pink in the middle. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Oh, I think I want some like aqua -y on the outside here. Let's just do a little like a little Almost a little starch looking thing here, huh? That looks cool. All right, next, we're gonna have white go straight across the middle. And you gotta move quickly because this stuff is gets kind of runny on this uh, porousy or more non-porous than paper. So, ooh, that's a lot. Oh, I missed the middle. Go back with the pink. Ah, oh, crap, I missed the middle, it's okay. I'm pressing the button, it's not going. Good. All right, let's go, buddy. There you go. There we go. Now, I'm going to set that to the side. Let it sit and rest for a minute. I'm going to do the same thing for this guy back here. There we go. Now it's that purple. This purple, uh, I don't know what's different about it, but it comes out like a rocket, honestly. There we go. Now for the white in the middle. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, now comes the fun part. I turn this around this way because that's like so goes straight down. You spray. Splat, 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 splat. Oh, yeah. The little ones, I like those. All right, we're back down here to planet Earth. And the last thing I'm going to do before I let these dry and pull these off because I want, I like. I don't guess you have to let it dry, but whatever. I'm going to try to do a little, like these things, compared to the big poster board, this is really, it's really hard to get the control to do tiny. I would really want to use my airbrush, but I'm trying to stay true to seeing, you know, this test is to see, can we do this on a smaller practical scale on something that you use? And the answer is yes, obviously. This is looking really sick. So, do a little ch -ch -ch if I could aim right, good gosh. Bro, I cannot hit my targets. All right, let's just gonna pull this off, even though I took my gloves off already. This is gonna be dangerous with it wet. Oh, did you see behind that? Oh boy. Oh my gosh, there's paint everywhere. Dude, look at that. Oh, that is sick. And I'm gonna pull this one off. I tacked this off on my jeans it's still holding on pretty strong and I'm trying not to make a huge mess because I have wet paint still on here. Look at that. Oh, that's sick. All right, one more back here. I think this one's going to be my favorite. I'm not even looking either. I'm trying not to. I'm pulling off very carefully without pulling my stick off the back. I'm flicking little paint everywhere. Oh, I can see. I seen it. Did you see it? Oh. I'm right. Yep. That was my favorite one. Now I really have to wait till it's dry to get that one off because I will mess up the world around it. I'm not even looking. Oh, 
That's so cool. That legit looks like a moon. I could do my rocket ship on the back. Oh, that is sick. That is a gigantic star right there. I don't know, he's about to blow up or something. All right, now for the rocket that I wanna do on the back, uh, I laid down some transfer paper and I found this image on the old interweb, something sort of like it that I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna sketch out something similar. That is just like my inspiration. It's not set in stone. Two little wings over here. I'm just gonna sketch this out and we're gonna paint it real quick. And now I'm just gonna whittle this bad boy out very carefully. All right, now we're just gonna try to peel this off. See how good a cutting job we did. Make sure all your edges are down. Now I'm just gonna dust this with a little spray paint. For this, I'm actually, I was gonna use white by the, the way that table turned out. I think I'll use some metallic silver. Whoa, back it up, Terry. What did it reverse, Terry? A little heavy. That's just enough. You only need just a little bit, it's fine. Let it dry and then we'll be back. All right, I got my silver down, it's dry and I'm gonna do a few little techniques, try to replicate this. I'm not gonna like super detail that. So to do so, I'm gonna do a little trick here. Instead of spraying it there, cause it's so tiny, I'm just gonna make a little shield and bounce it off of it like this. Well, if it'll spray, there we go. See the little shadowy, that's pretty nice, huh? Now we'll do the orange and we'll leave it a little bit higher so there's like a, not a hard line, but a, like a softer line. In my mind, I think that's what it'll do. I don't really know. So if I could hold steady. Yeah, it did it, literally. Did exactly what I was looking for. Now on the other side, I'm gonna do some blue. And it's splattering, which is fantastic. No, I'm just kidding, it sucks. But, whoa. That did what I was wanted to do, actually, literally. All right, last thing I'm gonna try to do with this technique is make like the little shape of the bottom. I'm just gonna use like a dark gray. We'll see, hmm, fingers crossed. Let's see here, how would this go? Probably like so, eh? I don't know, that's what it's gonna be today. Yeah, it kinda did pretty good, like a curve. What do you think? I think we could uh, noodle in the rest of it with some Pushka markers, what do you say? After we do the fire, we gotta take this off and we'll do the fire. Coming off the rockets, cause how else is it gonna move, huh? Whoa, that's nice. Hey look, it looks like it hit something. That was that star. It has a big old drop and I tried to like pull it out with a toothpick. So that kinda, you know, it did something. All right, for the fire, we're gonna do a little hit. We gotta make sure he's going in the right direction. You may not be able to see, cause I need to see for this. Just a little hit of there. A little hit of fire here. Oh, that works out pretty. Let's put another one right here. Like there, maybe there's a burner in the back. How about it? Cause that worked out so good. All I did was make like a little pointy shape with a poster board. Just like I did the stars on the last one, you know? Comets, that's the word. Now let's put a little hit of yellow in there. Dude, oh, what? Look at that. That's so legit. All right, now we'll let that dry and then we'll pushka marker it. They're like so fine tipped and tiny. They're so nice. But if you want to get your own, I have a link in the description. I think that's sick. There we have it. It actually worked. I took the same technique that I did for street art and I applied it to a tiny, amazing, that is, that is, whoa. That's my favorite right there. Look at the back. I customized it with a rocket and what he goes by, sweaty. He goes all out, he sweats. That's how we all should do. I don't know if you, if you want to be sweaty, I don't know, do whatever you want to do. If you want to see how to do this on a larger scale on the poster board, like street art style, click this video right here. And YouTube thinks that this is the one that you're really going to like. So check it out. Hey, who knows, that could be right. Hmm? See you next time. God bless. Goodbye.